going to be a Raksha Bandhan special video. I'm going to show you guys some outfit ideas. So I will be showing you guys two Indian outfit ideas and two Indo West outfit ideas. I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to show a thumbs up to this video if you guys like it. Leave your comments and do subscribe to my channel. Wishing you all a very happy Raksha Bandhan. Bye bye. So guys, the first outfit is this beautiful Anarkali uh, suit. I have only worn very simple pearl darts and this beautiful coral kind of uh, ring and I love big bindis if you want you can alternate it with any other small bindi or just a small um, you know stud bindi and then this is the suit it's just plain white and has some embroidery on the top and on the borders of the sleeves otherwise it's a net suit it looks so pretty it has a churidar and a net dupatta with it. I just find it very nice, very appropriate for Raksha Bandhan kind of a festival where you don't have to go really overboard with your outfit but yet at the same time you want to look traditional and pretty and comfortable. So this is how I just decided. If you want you can wear some more colourful jewellery with it like instead of wearing white pearls you can just wear any colourful danglers. The next outfit is this beautiful floor length kurta and it has a nice multicolor dupatta with it and palazzos. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the palazzos. I'm wearing these beautiful fluorescent color danglers and this chunky cocktail ring with it. I just decided to go with danglers and rings uh, for Raksha Bandhan outfits. You can also wear a necklace if you want to. Then I'm just wearing my white strap watch and my white block heels. Block heels are comfortable because there has to be some running around during the festival. I just decided to keep my hair loose and this is how my suit looks like. It is a customized suit. I got it designed and made by one of my friends who is a designer and I absolutely love this suit. It gives such a nice slim silhouette to one's body because of its straight line and almost like a floor length length. So yeah, this third option is an Indo West outfit. So I'm wearing a floral uh, skirt. Okay, first let me talk about the jewelry. I'm wearing all diamond jewelry with it. It's not all real. Some of them is artificial. So these beautiful jhumka kind of danglers, mangtika, and a diamond ring is what I decided to wear. So if I'm wearing all these pieces, I decided not to wear a neck piece and I just made a bun, a low bun with the mid partition. Now this is the outfit. I'm wearing a skirt. It's a, floor, uh, it's a floral print skirt and instead of wearing the top of the skirt which was actually heavy, I just decided to wear a spaghetti and take this beautiful dupatta over it, like pinned it up on both the sides. So it's just very comfortable, cool, casual yet traditional looking outfit idea for Raksha Bandhan. Now guys, a variation to the previous outfit is this. So this is a little more towards western side. So I'm wearing these uh, western jewellery, these beautiful danglers and some wooden bangles. And as you guys can see, these uh, danglers are so beautiful. I got these from Forever New. And I made a high bun this time instead of a low mid partition bun. I just made a high bun. And as you guys can see, I'm wearing a Jaipuri koti now. So I just took the dupatta off. And instead of that, I just decided to wear a koti with the same floral skirt. And it just gave such a beautiful, different, western, yet a traditional look to this entire ensemble. And this is even more comfortable. I don't even have to handle my dupatta. Yet at the same time, I'm looking traditional because of the traditional koti. And yet at the same time, elements of westernization are also there. And I absolutely love this look. The next outfit is again a fusion of Indo-Western. Now in this outfit, I'm using really bright colors. I'm wearing this beautiful gray skirt, which I got from W with this beautiful red plain 
kurta which i got from fab india and this dupatta is so gorgeous i absolutely love this dupatta i got this from amritsar and for jewelry i'm wearing these beautiful danglers which i just thought will go so well with this entire outfit because it's also kind of indo western because i'm wearing a skirt and a kurta together so i just decided to wear these danglers and this beautiful red ring you guys can see now and i just decided to continue with my high bun because that gives me height and it also suits me and it's hot so you know your hair is just tied up so yeah this is the next outfit guys i hope you liked it now after this outfit i'm going to show you one more variation so stay tuned Now if you wish you can take a dupatta like this also instead of taking it on one shoulder you can just pin it up on both your shoulders and that way also you can feel comfortable Now guys this is another variation to the previous outfit where i have done away with the dupatta and i have put a lot of silver jewelry instead so as you guys can see some silver bangles silver ring silver necklace and some chunky silver jhumkis and i'm also dotting a beautiful red ground bindi and i just thought it makes the entire look so chic and so traditional yet at the same time it looks so comfortable it is in fact very very comfortable if you don't want to carry a dupatta you can just wear the skirt and kurta together and just adorn some beautiful silver jewelry so yeah that also is a great variation to this outfit so it's up to you guys you can just keep on experimenting with different kind of looks at times with your jewelry at times with your dupatta or a jacket or anything of that sort and you can create so many different looks for this beautiful festive festival of raksha bandhan i hope you guys enjoyed all these looks wish you all a very very happy rakhi love you all take care bye bye